welcome to the channel to meet color we are on process of making this scene in the previous videos we have seen how to model this scene how to sculpt it how to give texture to this scene and in this particular session we are going to create the leaves if you missed any of the previous sessions all the links are given in the description you can go through any of those links because we have gone through the entire process this time i will be a little faster because you already know the process i am going through so let's jump into mine first of all let's take a polygonal primitive and that can be a plane scaling it up and decreasing the divisions now by selecting the vertices giving it a shape of a leaf Inserting another loop in this area. Splitting two more edges. Alright, now by selecting the edges, I am modifying the shape a little bit and trying to give it an organic shape. Now let's go close, going to mesh tool and offset edge loop tool I am taking and inserting two edge loops. Now you can see the vein is exaggerated at the middle. Selecting these two edges and scale it up a little bit Let's extrude it. Now inserting three more edge loops. Duplicating the leaf and keeping it aside. For duplication I have used Ctrl D. Taking insert edge loop tool and inserting two more edge loops all right now selecting all the faces and click on extrude create a very little thickness and you can understand towards the tip of the leaf the thickness is less and towards the starting point the thickness is more now I am going to mesh display and clicking on reverse and you can see now the normals are in the positive side. Previously it was in negative side that's why the color was black. Modifying the shape a little bit by selecting the vertices. It is looking fine. Now selecting all the sharp edges, going to edit mesh and apply bevel, increasing the thickness a little bit and segments you can keep two now in this part we need to understand one thing this polycube one will be our high poly model and this polycube two will be our low poly model so i am selecting polycube two and making the translation value zero so that it will come to the center now go to the uv editor create and planner mapping i should select camera in the option box apply one second opening uv toolkit select all the uvs and unfold once again select all the uvs and arrange it properly inside the positive space now close all the windows now selecting the low poly model going to file and export selection and exporting as fbx file now selecting the high poly model and exporting as obj and naming it as leaf underscore high all right now let's jump into zbrush Click on import and select the high poly mesh and hit edit. So this is our high poly mesh and changing the material. Alright, now going to the geometry, 
and subdivide it a couple of times now i will create some veins on it and i will fast forward the video because you have seen how to sculpt it in the previous videos so let's make it a little faster i'm making this video separately because i wanted to tell you the entire pipeline once again so we have created two models in maya a low poly version and high poly version high poly version i have taken to zbrush and sculpting and doing mark making in zbrush the low poly model i will take to substance painter and the high poly model will go directly from zbrush and will create the height map from this particular model and then i will take all the maps to maya and i will render it so this is my plan so far Alright, I am not going to sculpt it more. Now going to the sub tool and clicking on duplicate. Selecting one object. Going to Z plugin and clicking on decimation master. Then clicking on pre-process current and changing the decimation quality to and click on decimate current. You can see our model has been decimated. Click on export and save it. Now let's jump into Substance Painter. Go to File, New Project, select our mesh, Low Poly Mesh and OK. So this is the Low Poly model directly taken from Maya. Clicking on Texture Set Setting and clicking on Bake Mesh Maps. Select our High Poly model exported from ZBrush and bake it. And you can see we are getting all the detailing we have created in ZBrush. Now creating a new fill layer. Hitting C in the keyboard to see the base color. And clicking on the normals and metal. Changing the base color to green. Alright. Now duplicating the fill layer once again and changing the color to a little bit darker. Now right click on it, add black mask, one second right click and add generator. Select dirt. You can see the cavities are visible now, changing the parameters a little bit more. Once again duplicating the first layer, changing the color a little bit right click on it add black mask one second right click and add fill and let's use a grunge map see the mask and changing the properties a little bit changing the property a little bit more Now duplicating the dark layer and changing the color to a lighter color so that the veins will look lighter a little bit and changing the dark parameter a little bit. Creating another fill layer and clicking off everything else except color and giving it a kind of brown color and add black mask and this time I am going to paint the color manually. So, so if I paint white the color will be visible, if I paint black the color will not be visible. So you can see here and there I am painting brown and I think I am done over here. So going to file and click on export textures. Let the file format be PNG only and export. And you can see all my textures are ready. Basically I am going to use my color texture and the normal map. So coming back to Maya. 
First of all, let's go to HyperShift. Going to Arnold, Shaders and taking AI Standard Shader. Select the object, assign material to the selection and in the color, I am browsing the color texture. All right. And coming down, going to geometry and in the bump, I'm selecting the normal map we have created in Substance Painter. Reducing the bump depth 0.2. All right, we are all set. Now selecting the object and keeping it aside. Now duplicating it, scaling it down a little bit and changing the pivot point to the end. Now let's duplicate it and by rotating I am trying to create a kind of leafy pattern. Alright. And now I am selecting all the leaves. Going to mesh and combine. By selecting the vertices, I am modifying the shape a little bit and for this you can see I am using soft selection tool. Alright, now I am feeling that the size of all the leaves should be different. So going to mesh and separate. And once again, I will modify the scaling of each and every leaf. All right, once again, going to mesh and combine. Again changing the pivot point to the center. Now my job will be to duplicate this pattern and arrange it in a very natural way. So I will fast forward the video a little bit. Over here, you can see, out of my first pattern, I have created another pattern and now I am duplicating the second pattern to arrange it, so that it will look much more dense. Now I am trying to create the branch out of a polygonal cube. So inserting edge loops and extruding different different branches and trying to arrange it.
all right this is looking fine to me it is looking pretty natural exactly the same way i have created three different branches now i am going to duplicate these branches and going to arrange it throughout the tree you have to arrange it in a very random manner otherwise it will not look natural Right, you can see the leaves are ready. In the next video, I am going to show you how to render all the maps we have created in Substance Painter in Maya through Arnold. And if you have missed any of the previous videos of this series, all the links are given in the description. You can check it out. The next video will be the last session of this series, so I'll show you how to get this output out of Maya. This is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the session and don't forget to subscribe the channel for the future videos. Thank you very much for watching.